Dr. Kerry Mullis, who invented the polymerase chain reaction, uh, gives this uh, in 83, I believe, and he got the Nobel Prize in 1993, gives this little story that he was hired to do PCR for an HIV project for a private company, and he wrote as the first sentence of his paper, uh, HIV is the probable cause of AIDS, and he said he turned to a virologist and said, what's the reference for that? And the virologist said, you don't need it. Well, Mullis is smart enough to know, of course, something new as this, you'd always have a series of original papers that established unequivocally that this was the cause of AIDS. Then, and only then, I started looking into it. I looked up a bunch of papers in science that, that Bob Gallo, I, I knew about him and had written. I figured, well, Gallo must have been the one to figure it out because he's the name I've heard associated with it. And I looked at his papers and I didn't find anything in there that actually showed me that there was a fact now in science called HIV is the cause of AIDS, or even the probable cause of AIDS, which is all I would have expected, the probable cause of AIDS, highly probable, because they were attacking the whole problem by then as though it were certainly the cause. So I'd expect it to be highly probable, but I couldn't find anything that said it was remotely probable even.